done it. And they gave him the credit. The grace had come from him. The glory must go to him. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was saying earlier about the difference between Herod. Uh, that the grace came from him and the glory should go to him. So <clears throat> I'll finish up by just telling y'all that here is, this is not a distinction without a difference. Um, we participate in what God is doing. But there's a really important sense in which we are not contributing. Now here's what I mean, like to our salvation. We participate, like in our sanctification, I, as I mentioned in the sermon yesterday, we don't just go to sleep with the Bible under our pillow and wake up fully sanctified and ready to go. So God's not going to do it for us. We have to participate. But it's still all of God's grace working in us and through us. We participate, but we're not adding our own works uh, so that we get any of the glory. God gets all the glory, um, and it's only by His grace that we even desire to want to, you know, to pursue that. But we'll be talking about that later. So, um, I know we can't relate to this as a church, but the next week's lesson is going to be resolving conflict. Um, churches have no idea what is going on in that subject. This is really just for another time, but we'll study it because it's in the Bible. Um, but this will be Acts uh, 15, 1 through 16, 5. And uh, so that is what we will tackle next week. It is the Council at Jerusalem. This is where the Apostle Paul... Uh, and the rest of the apostles, really. But certainly the Apostle Paul has it out with the Judaizers who were teaching a different gospel. And Paul is going to go back there. He's going to debate. He's going to be, he's going to be Paul at his best. And, um, but he really does not have the authority. James and the Jerusalem apostles have the authority. And so they're going to go... This is basically them all going back to one place saying, are we all on the same page about what we're teaching and preaching? And they all, the answer, I'll give you the, I'll give you the, the answer up front, yes, we are. And all right then, so when you hear this other stuff going around, it's not true. That's right. And yet, that's immediately what happens. Uh, people start going and teaching other things. But not from this group. This group is faithful. So let me pray for us and uh, we'll call it a day. Lord, thank you for uh, the gospel of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for those uh, over 2,000 years who have stood firm in the faith, um, who have uh, been a faithful witness for you even when it cost them their lives. And Lord, you may not be calling us to uh, risk our lives, and yet you might be calling us to risk other things, maybe our reputation, maybe... Even relationships, Lord, I mean, we don't want to lose any of those things. We don't want to uh, be canceled by our culture. We don't want to have damaged relationships, Lord. But remind us at all times that if you call us to be faithful to you, that is our highest priority, and that should become our highest value that we desire to faithfully live into. So, Lord, help us to always stand firm for you even as we do so in a loving and tender and kind way. But yet, let us always be people of the truth. So, be with us this week. We look forward to getting back together again next week. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all.